these are European style hinges, so I gotta drill a hole. Hinge and three eighths to recess this into a pocket. Mm. And we'll screw and mount these. And then these are three eighths overlays because that's how we built the doors. Three eighths wider on each side <clears throat> than the actual opening. They make half inch overlays. They go all the way up to an inch and a quarter, even bigger now. But so this here, I'll go in here. Pencil gets lost every day. No. No. It, it does. It's right there. See? It gets lost. It gets lost every. That's not the same pencil from. It's getting smaller. When I put it here, <laughs> it goes in my pocket and it lays sideways, and I don't feel it. I don't have a handle on. I got different glasses on. You're a mess. Hinge, hinge. Hinge, hinge. Yeah, these two doors need a center style so that when you don't see into the cabinet, yeah. that's why this drawer is held back. Just going this way, right? Yep. Four. Two. Oh, I tried. nubs on them and that hooks onto the style mm -hmm. and then you put a screw in the middle it adjusts up and down in and out and um, in this case because of this is not styled it's three quarters of an inch thick I'll have to mark this little nub and drill a little hole so it sits in there recessed so it uh. sits proper got it Doors going to overlap three eighths over the box. You'll see out there. Okay, so that's good depth wise. Now we got the door marked XX. This line, the whole bottom edge of the door on that line, get me close. Before I drop the cap camera. Killer ice. Oh, no. Alright, we're in the bus. Got the cabinets. Got the holes drilled in them now. Hinges. Okay. Good. You did. That's it. That's good. 
That's not a square. Look at this. It doesn't look it. It looks weird as hell. So this here screw pushes the back, the bottom of the door in and out this way, which you can see. This screw is pushing the door this way. So when this door shut, see how this is a gap up top? Mm -hmm. If I do that first screw and push the bottom of the door away from the front frame, oh, I see it. It should allow the car to close parallel. See that? The second screw I showed you, I said push the hinge. I might might not be enough in this one adjustment. I'm pushing the top of the door that way, so when it's like this, I'm pushing the top of the door that way. Makes it tilt downhill. Got it? I kind of got it. They make soft close hinges. But if we're going to put them, I call them Woody Woodpeckers, a little bird's peak clips that... Lock the door shut. The soft close doesn't soft close doesn't help you any because it would stop anyway and it would never latch. See how hard it is to center that up. Yeah. Okay. I have a tool for that, but it's not for this size. It's called a big fit. Look at that. Give me a hole. Not my finger. Trust. You doing the bottom one? Is it even set? All right, go ahead. They're lined up, but the gap to me is a little bigger at the bottom. So what I need to do is bring both doors up a little bit, and then I'll make this gap become parallel. I can do that after they're all up because I want this to be a straight line. Then we can see what kind of trim we're going to run across this. Ooh, half moon. Half moon. Oh. <laughs> you can never leave them open. Uh, oh, well, why is it open? I didn't leave it open. You left it open. You. that good enough to go dead center of that hole? Oh. That's perfect. Breathe. I saw that you clean it today. Oh, 
really good technique there. Network takes the stage five. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did it to the left. Did you did you hear it? Shot. We can't have a style here because of the pull out. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to route it? Well, both sides. I think yeah. what I'd rather do, I think I'm gonna notch the knee back because I don't want to cut the I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, into the frame? Adjustments, if you can tell. Yeah. Right, so I can't tell. 